with the nerve of them. PK and Shakira are flaunting their wealth in the middle of New York, in a land of Beyonce and Jay-Z. Be careful with your provocation, you two. Beyonce and Jay-Z aren't Real Madrid fans. Maybe they have some regrets? Para nada, no me arrepiento para nada. Lo volvería a hacer una y mil veces. Yo soy así. Okay then. Shakira has a fortune valued at over 350 million dollars. As for Piqué, he bought the Davis Cup for 25 years and plans on investing over $3 billion into the tournament with his company Cosmos. So, all these figures raise a question. Are Piqué and Shakira the richest A-list couple in the whole entire world? Hmm. I think it's time to talk money, baby. Money time, episode nine. Let's go. Okay. I'm going to ruin the suspense. The richest member of the couple out of Piqué and Shakira according to available figures, is Shakira. Singer, dancer, actor, producer, business owner, and I could go on. In 2018, Sony's figures reveal she sold over 70 million albums, a number that makes her the Latin artist that sold the most albums in history. She did the song for the 2010 World Cup. She performed at the Super Bowl. She sang during the closing ceremony at the 2014 World Cup. She's also appeared in several commercials. And to finish off her long and beautiful resume, she earned $12 million for being a judge and coach on The Voice. Wow, 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 wow. Forbes claims she could be earning about $5 million a month. And five times 12 makes, uh, what? Okay. $60 million a year. According to specialist sites, Shakira's fortune could be close to $470 million. Not bad. Not bad at all. She could buy four players for $100 million. Hey, Henri, can you make four copies of a player costing $100 million, please? Yeah, it's for a client. Thank you very much. But Gerard Piquet's fortune is no joke either, because the Barca defender is rich. Very rich. Richer than the La Liga club that he doesn't like very much as it happens. I'm not making this up. He actually said it. My fortune, in my estate, I have a bigger budget than Espanol Barcelona. $68 million. No, it's more than that. To be honest, he was born rich. Well off, if you'd prefer. Son of a successful lawyer who became a businessman. Son of a neurosurgeon who became the director of Barcelona's biggest hospital. Grandson of FC Barcelona's former vice president. Pique has an experienced hardship like others, but he uses his 140 point IQ to build his very own empire. He, first of all, became a footballer who succeeded at home at FC Barcelona, which allowed him to sign contracts that earned him as much as $14 million a year. And we're not talking about his sponsors or his kit suppliers, just his salary as a player. Okay. Not content with the competition at Barca over the years, he took time away from his football life, sometimes missing training sessions, to build another empire. This time, focusing on B-U-S-I-N-E-S-S. -S -S, because business is business, baby. He invested in online games, sunglasses, environmentally friendly food, energy drinks, etc., etc. He launched Cosmos in 2017 to invest in sport. And with Cosmos, PK immediately got people talking. You know what he did? He bought the rights to the Davis Cup tennis competition for 25 years and changed the format. Yeah, he angered some tennis fans and some players who threatened to boycott the event. Y sobre si las eh, mayores raquetas, pues eh, las grandes raquetas no van a venir si esto se aguanta. Bueno, eh, es que de verdad estáis muy preocupados en las grandes raquetas. De momento, Rafa, que es el número uno. Eh, si tenemos la suerte que, que, que pues no está lesionado, va a poder asistir, eh, ¿qué más quieres? Si el número uno está, eh, es más que suficiente, ¿no? Pique, through his business, planned to invest over $3 billion dollars in the next 25 years into the Davis Cup. He also set up an investment group called Carrard 3, a company that the billionaire Hiroshi Mikatani, the CEO of Rakuten, invested a fair bit into. His good relationship with Mikatani really contributed to the sponsorship deal between Rakuten and Barca. Shakira and Pique are good friends with Mikatani, and they organized a dinner in San Francisco in 2015. We met and we talked about the future and Rakuten's interest in our club. Pique helped us a lot. Thanks to Pique and Shakira's intervention, Barca went from a sponsorship contract that was bringing them $35 million a season with Qatar Airways to $65 million a season with Rakuten. You get it? 
PK is a good businessman. By combining a range of interests, we believe he earns around $59 million a year. This is an estimation, though. I just want to make that clear. So when you see the figures that PK's businesses are capable of investing in Shakira's fortune, you begin to wonder where the couple ranks among the richest couples on the planet. And don't pretend, you're gonna like this ranking. Otherwise, Forbes would have gone bankrupt a long time ago. And these are the big numbers. $470 million for Shakira, $60 million a year for Piquet. But sorry to disappoint Gerard Piquet and Shakira fans, but the Piquet-Shakira empire doesn't make them the richest A-list couple in the world. And one more time for the people at the back, we're using the numbers we have available. Los números son impresionantes. Uh, no te voy a mentir. They still are to this day. In June 2020, Forbes said Cristiano Ronaldo became the first footballing billionaire in history. One billion earned over his career is incredible. And if you add in Georgina's earnings, they definitely have a bigger estate than Piquet's and Shakira's. Well, the Beckhams also could have a very large estate. According to Business Insider, David and Victoria's fortune is estimated to be over $960 million. And when you know that in the MLS, the salary cap allows the owners to take part of the money earned from the club. If Inter Miami turns out to be a success, David Beckham will get even richer. Without forgetting the commercials, Victoria's royalties, etc., etc. So even in football, Pique and Shakira are not first, but third. Now, if we step outside of football and we include celebrities, it's not even close. Come on. Because unsurprisingly, the richest couple is formed by the superstars Beyonce and Jay-Z. In an article from 2019, Forbes estimates the couple's fortune at $1.4 billion. That's huge! Beyonce's fortune is estimated to be $474 million thanks to her hits, or videos, or her sponsorship deals with Adidas and Uber. Jay-Z's is valued at $1 billion. He's made his fortune thanks to rap and his record label, clothing brand, streaming platform title, etc., etc. But there's a proverb that says, there's always someone richer. The reason I specified A-list or celebrity is because there are obviously richer couples than them if you widen the field to include couples in the worlds of business and tech. According to Business Insider, in 2019, the top three richest couples in the world were as followed. Number three, Mark Zuckerberg and Priscilla Chan with a $74 billion combined fortune. Number two, Melinda and Bill Gates when they were together with a $90 billion combined fortune. Number one, of course, Jeff and Mackenzie Bezos when they were together with a $93 billion combined fortune. It should be pointed out that the Gates couple recently announced their separation in 2021. What did I just say? And the Bezoses divorced shortly after this list was made. What did I just say? But that gives you an idea how to situate PK and Shakira a long way from the top. But hey, show business and sports pay well, my friend. But creating Amazon, Microsoft, and Facebook pays even better. As a final reminder, all the numbers quoted here are estimations coming from specialized media. Not exact figures counted to the very last dime. There you have it, friends. That's all you need to know about PK and Shakira's empire. Money Time Episode 9 is done. See you soon for Episode 10. In the meantime, maybe you should go create your own social media platform or go help people that need a little bit more than you. But remember, goodbye and football forever. Go weigh your wallets and spread it aloud.